Hi everyone, in today's rolling down I'm going to tell you and show you about these sunglasses from Smith. The model name of these sunglasses is the Smith Wildcat and the main reason why I bought these sunglasses is uh, this lovely photochromic lens. Uh, I've been using these sunglasses for riding a bike and also for some ski touring. That is uh, what you are calling backcountry skiing, if you didn't know before. Let's go quickly over the frame shape, quality of material and uh, what you get if you decide to spend your money on these sunglasses. I'm not going to unbox it here, but you can imagine me taking it out of the box where you find this rather nice but rather big uh, soft shell, hard shell case. I don't know what it is. Uh, it feels like some stiffer cardboard under nice wrap. And uh, yes, it feels premium and gonna keep your investment protected to some reasonable level. Inside, you're gonna find some uh, soft foam cutouts for your sunglasses and uh, for your spare clear lens, which is also included. What is also included is like and subscribe button under this video, under the in description, and uh, clicking at least one of them uh, gonna make me sleep better. Thank you very much. Um, when you, when I am already on the spare lens, I tried to buy one uh, extra lens for sunny weather, and I couldn't. At least not here in Germany. Get one of the Smith. Uh, tinted lenses is not possible. So I would love to see if uh, someone from Smith hear this and just try to get some spare lenses. I guess people who decide to go with the photochromic lenses won't need the clear one, even though it's nice uh, for peace of mind if you accidentally scratch your photochromic lens. Uh, and if you don't want to take the hard case with you, Smith is also providing this soft bag. When it comes to material and uh, build quality, I'm very satisfied with the joints and uh, build material. It is not too stiff, but it's stiff enough for comfy feeling. One thing what I feel like you should be aware is when you fold the temples swiftly, uh, the temple tip will hit the inside of the lens. Uh, I'm not gonna be sure. I'm not sure how if it's gonna last or if it's gonna cause any damage in the long term. The shape of the belt cuts is uh, great and allows for a great ventilation. And I'm I don't worry about sweating underneath the beach. Uh, was not the case with my previous Oakley Holbrook XLs. I would say they a little too high to use with my current helmet and the helmet is pressing to the sunglasses a little bit down but for me it's still in a reasonable level and doesn't cause me any discomfort. So the biggest feature of uh, these sunglasses is obviously its lens. Um, this is a photochromic lens and I decided to go with uh, this because I had often uh, the feeling of too dark environment. So carrying with me on the right spare glass would be also possible but I didn't want to be changing lenses in the middle of the ride. In sunny weather you can expect a comparable light transition to chroma pop black. According to Smith's website the chroma pop uh, has VLT visible light transition of 10% and the photochromic maximum of 20 of the VLT. But the biggest advantage is the opposite side of the scale, where the photochromic gets to 85% of VLT and the clear lens has 89 of VLT just out of curiosity. So in real life, even in the strong sunlight, I find the lens to be dark enough for me. The magic happens when it gets dark, for example, in the forest. But let's go outside and I show you there. This is what you can expect from the 
cloudy weather as you can see is a flat light like typical mountain uh, light in the winter uh, the sunglasses are uh, quite dark I would say mm, it's usually like this when, like this, when the uh, light or UV uh, reflecting from the snow it's quite often darker as uh, in comparison to when it's everything green and everything a bit darker and not so reflective so this is the darkness what you can expect when you're using it for uh, mountain biking in the winter or uh, ski touring or anything like it in the winter And this is what you can expect uh, while in the forest. I just came out of the forest. Um, it's cloudy and uh, not any more snow. So yeah, this is, it's perfect. I like it a lot. The amount of uh, tint or whatever it's called of the lens or the glass of the sunglasses in this kind of uh, condition. So let's have a look how it looks in the very sunny weather. This is what you can expect uh, while climbing in the sunny weather. The sun is behind me. It's, as you can see now, like behind me. This is the intensity of the uh, tint you can expect. It's sometimes a bit of in the shadow, sometimes in a open kind of area, the street. So this is basically what you can expect. asking how quick they change the amount of tint I did test this not very scientific but the real world is for me more important as you can see from the clip I pulled the sunglasses out of the pouch directly into the Sun and uh, the time is around 50 second mark where I do not see any changes of the tint anymore so zero to hero in approximately 50 seconds uh, is the answer for me. Uh, I promise I last longer. And the very last thing is uh, if you want to drive a car with these sunglasses, it will not be very helpful against the sun because the car windows are usually UV protected and uh, that means that sunglasses will be almost clear inside the car. So this is uh, for today uh, all. I hope you Hit the like button and optionally subscribe if you uh, like that video and content I'm doing. And I see you hopefully in the next video. Bye bye.